everyone from New York City. Woo! This trip was booked a week ago. And here we are. Yes. I haven't been here in almost two years. Alice lived here for a year, but she came home like over a year ago now, so she's excited to be back. We're excited to be in the city. I'm here for four and a half days. I've been here a lot. Alice has been here even more. So it's not like we're gonna do like the main touristy touristy thing, yeah. but we're gonna have a good time. My biggest mission of the trip is to try loads of different viral cookies because that's something I feel passionately about. So the first destination will be Chip City. We'll be there soon. Got on my Primark cardigan cider shirt and halara scores here is my outfit of the day unico bag and then alice has her santa music dress on yay mm. abercrombie so it works with the denim jacket. i do i think it brings it into new york the hotel is right by the empire state building and next to a starbucks came for the good stuff all the same size all the same price <laughs> going for it hey emily what you got there it could be a large diet coke ready to be restored alice had a nap on the plane i did not yeah. I'm a napper and I was napping through the snacks. So I missed the jammy dodgers. Yeah, she just missed the jammy dodgers. We were talking about what we ate on the plane. I was like, yeah, those jammy dodgers. I was like, when did we get them? I must have been asleep. Cheers. Sad for me. <laughs> I'll get a different one. Definitely. Stop number one for cookies, Chip City. I have cookies and cream. Huge. It cost $6. But that's by the by. Alice got the brookie. So it's like a brownie cookie. Should I try yours first? Yeah. That's so nice. Yeah? It's so different. You can taste the sugar side of them. So it also says on the counter there's four servings per cookie. Sorry? Um, that is so jolly. Mm. It's like cakey. Yeah. It's very soft. I give it a four out of five. Yeah, me too. Wait, can I try the old cat? Oh my god. That's insane. Oh my god. This one's like brownie cookie dough. It's so good. Wow. Strong. Strong stuff. And a Diet Coke. We have now come to Chip City. Chip City is one of the most popular cookie shops in New York. Oh, we can try the cookie dough. Yeah, we can try the cookie dough. Yeah, we can try the cookie dough. Yeah, we the city, which a favorite of Alice's, a favorite of mine. Okay. I feel like the High Line in Central Park, my favorite part of New York. Oh, the sun, when it comes through, it's being so blocked by all the buildings, like we're not feeling it, but actually it's really hot today. Beautiful. Um, but Central Park and the High Line, probably here at parts, which is crazy as a girl who loves the city. But I love the city with a touch of green, you know? Yeah. But then also it's green and then I can quickly go get anything I need. Anything I need, like a McDonald's like Coke or a cookie. I love the convenience. <laughs> yeah. I love the green with the convenience. We are city girls forever. <laughs> Also, Alice is convinced there's some people out there that every time she's on the vlog are like, oh no, not Alice again. So please comment down below if you're happy for Alice to be on the vlog to boost her self-esteem. <laughs> This is the vibe. Alice is in her happy place. It's called Pliables. Pliables. And I get this every Wednesday. Yeah, she walked straight in. I'm overwhelmed. This is the menu. Look at that. There's like six different types of bowl base, and then within that, all these options. Alice just walked straight up and was like, I know what I want. <laughs> and it's this. I got this every Wednesday lunch. Okay, mine is here now. I got the Dragonberry, which is a Bataya base with strawberries, blueberries, and loads of honey, which I'm very thrilled about. This is culture. This is America. <laughs> oh my god. Oh I'll take 14 of them right now. We are now in Target and I wish I was here for longer just so I could get these favorite day bakery cookies. Love them so much. Classic frosted. What's my collar doing? Um, but we have like actual New York bakery cookies to try, so I can't. And I really want them. Literally our childhood right here. This was breakfast when we were in America. It's really <laughs> <laughs> it's showing a lot. We would literally be sat in our bed eating these for breakfast at like 5 a.m. What a great start to the day. I will also be forever mystified as to what cream it is because we just don't have it in the UK and there is, it's such a huge thing here. I, I don't understand. Alice, what have you found? Cookie dough. Your cookie dough. So once again, I feel like we can blame mum for this. <laughs> for how we were brought up, but this was, um, a cookie dough. I go for a ton of these a week. I actually can't believe that. And how many cookies does it make? 
Probably like, I actually don't know. I never actually played that. <laughs> I don't want to play that. <laughs> don't want to know, don't want to know. Oh, Maybe 20? Right. Like, we'll go for 20. The Mecca, the home of Alice's mac and cheese bites. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I love them. These. I did witness Alice buying like several boxes of these <laughs> at a time. And these, like, maybe three times a week. These cookie dough, did she eat anything else? Cookie dough, and that was my whole diet. Stop it, how cute. Full leaf corn tortilla chips. And this is what I got last time I came, so it is definitely coming home with me. These Americans really do love their pumpkin spice. My goodness. Oh, I love a little cafe. We should check it out tomorrow, shouldn't we? Really oh, it looks cute. really cute. Oh. What is, the what is the reason for this? Why is she here? It's too much. You're freaking everybody out. Good morning, everybody, from Times Square. It's 6 a.m. I did this on my last trip, and it's honestly the only way for me to see Times Square now because I get a little bit anxious in huge crowds. So when you're jet lagged, make the best of it and come out and see Times Square. Actually, quite a lot of people here compared to when I was last here. Like, there's some shoots going on. People are obviously filming TikToks, um, but the vibes immaculate. I love it. Oh. There we are, Disney Plus, Halloween. Um, so many ads. I do want to go to the Disney store though, in case they have Christmas stuff already, but it's pretty quiet. Alice is back at the hotel, just getting a little bit extra sleep than me. Um, but overall, I mean, it was a classic first night in America. You're awake every hour from like 2 a.m. And then finally at five, I was like, you know what? Times Square is calling me. Back in the hotel now, got a little Dunkin' coffee on the way back. I got the butter pecan pecan. Pecan? The guy did not understand me when I asked for butter pecan, so I had to say butter pecan, um, ice latte. Actually, not too bad, it was 3 90 in pounds. Um, and as you can see from the color, I feel like I've just got flavored milk, which I'm thrilled about because I love sweet coffee. Alice is basically ready as well. And we are in pink and white today. I have this bow yeah, jumper. We did not, Alice has her little top from Camden Market, but Daddy, I love him. Mine is from Hollister. My skirt is from Alice's Wardrobe. It's the best shop. And we're heading to Brooklyn Bridge to hopefully get some of the sunrise. I can't tell if you're in focus. Hopefully you are now. Yeah, hopefully the sun is still rising when we get there. We get a lovely golden glow. Is someone getting an onion bagel? We had our lovely morning walk across Brooklyn Bridge. It was so glowy and golden with just stunning views of the skyline. We then went to the bagel shop. I got hummus of mine. Please don't judge. We were so cold. Just needed to sit down. And then spent the rest of the morning basically shopping and browsing. Saw some Wicked merch in Airy. Went to the Strand Bookstore, which is always a cool place to visit. Also the Harry Potter store, which is just giant. And then the damage was finally done in Bath and Body Works. Not too crazy. Little haul coming up soon. And then went to Sweet Green for lunch. Hello, friends. I'm sorry I've not vlogged very much. I probably did a voiceover of everything that we've done involving a fair bit of shopping. It was buy one get one on their candles so got two new Christmassy ones. One is chocolate covered orange, smells like a Terry's, love it. And then also got the cinnamon caramel swell. My favourite, the caramel pecan waffles. Smell different to how I know it so we had to pass on that one, very sad. And then also got a couple of these little hand sanitizers that were from the fall range. They were only 78 cents. Alice also got a couple things. She got a couple candles, strung all around. But I will say it is 1 p.m. and I'm at 19,000 steps, which feels a bit unhinged. Crazy. Because we've just been like obviously wandering for a long time. But we'll make it through because we're seeing the notebook tonight. It's so exciting. I've never seen it. We got tickets last week for a fairly good deal. So Emily's never um, seen the movie we're talking about. Oh yeah, I've never seen the notebook. Neither have like, seen the movie stuff. at all. I know nothing about it. I've read the book. I've seen the movie many times. I don't know a single thing. Rachel McAdams is in it, right? And Ryan Gosling. And Ryan Gosling. That's all I know. Do you actually not know the story? Get, no. Okay, get, okay, okay. Tell me what you think the they story They fall is. in love and then one of them dies. I mean, you're not wrong. There's a lot more <laughs> to it than that. I just kind of assume it's like one of those tragic ones. I know the main song from it because it trended on TikTok. But yeah, we're going to go to Central Park now. Um, probably going to pick up another large McDonald's like Coke on the way. So. Alice actually had her very first mocha as well. I probably loved that. Big moment for Alice. First mocha experience. I did recommend it. I said the Blank Street mocha is my favourite I've ever had, so. Okay, let me see if it tastes like the UK one. It's the least coffee tasting mocha. Oh, that's good. You get a touch of coffee, but it's mostly chocolate. <laughs> maybe, maybe she's a convert. I feel like I've been trying myself. I actually would get it again. I thought it was actually pretty good. Have you got a caffeine buzz? 
Yeah, I definitely felt a bit buzzed after the Any upset yeah. stomach? No. Of course not. Alice doesn't get affected I'm by anything. I'm a man. Her stomach of steel. I actually am a man. I took it yeah. all. I took it all for the team. <laughs> I um, took all the issues. Alice is now thriving. I remain unbothered by everything. <laughs> Could be me. Just taking a moment because the music video filming has commenced. We forgot yesterday, but today it has begun. It's, it's full swing. Coming to swing. Alice's TikTok very, very soon. Alice the Torps. Alice the Torps. <laughs> That's the brand. <laughs> I'll take a moment for the fact that we are on Bow Bridge and I'm wearing a bow jumper yeah, and a bow in my hair. <laughs> what? Bow is galore. The most coquettest bridge there ever was. Immaculate vibes as well. Alice, where are we? Um, we're in Central Park. This is my spot. This is my favourite spot. Alice's secret spot. <laughs> <laughs> Trade market. Hashtag Alice's secret spot. Secret escapes. Just across from Bow Bridge. It's just so Soaking the vibes. Small. A little bench moment. Perfect. Perfect. Also, I feel like me and Alice speak in American accents like all the time. Um, I don't know how much it goes in the vlog, but other people just randomly speak in British accents or Australian accents because I feel like we're constantly slipping yeah, like, into oh, American, perfect. like wonderful, perfect, thank you so much. Like, but like, is that annoying? We're not, we're not mocking. No, we're not. It just genuinely, it's just like, it just comes out yeah. from our years. Like we grew up watching Disney Channel. So when we did playtime with dolls and stuff, they all had American accents. They did. It wasn't. They it actually was just, did. They always had American Yeah. So we would just play in an American accent That's all the time. Like we did not know British TV. No, we didn't really watch British TV. <laughs> no, no, we didn't have a clue. We watched some British shows, I'm like, no idea. No, wasn't there. So we left Central Park to get our next cookie, which was Crumble. Heard much about this place from the Sydney pop-up. After my experience, it felt very much like a pop-up to me. I yeah. could see why people were played. The, the shop was giving the least, honestly. It was no decor. Girl, girl, give us nothing. It was no. order at kiosk. Very go, go, go. Do you want to give us a tip? How much no, tip? no, there was, there was nothing. Self-service. Um, so I got pumpkin chocolate chip, but Alice got regular chocolate chip. There's Alice's one. I mean, the box is very cute. And then here is mine. Wasn't thrilled by the flavour selection, but it changes every week, so. Well, will say mine feels very doughy, like on the bottom. You can see the chocolate chips are kind of melty still, which bodes well. So, first bite. Mmm. Ooh. It's very autumnal tasting. Love the texture. Very soft, very cakey. They are like cakes. You know what, I'm a fan. How's yours? It's good, very sugary. It feels very soft, very doughy. I prefer yesterday's. You can feel the graininess of the sugar. Yeah, I know. I like mine because it's different, it's a different flavour. But yesterday's texture was better. And for the overall shop experience, I'm gonna give it a 3.5. That's a 3. Ooh, crumble! We're not looking for a crumble cookie London. We don't need it. Chip City, maybe, but you can stay. Okay, cookie is gone. I will say, actually, the texture is more like banana bread than cookie. This isn't very helpful because that cookie is probably only available for one week only, but I did very much enjoy it. It was very different. Far too expensive though. It cost $5.43, just £4.17. I know you're paying for like the cute crumble box. I enjoyed it, but I, I don't get the hype. I think I obviously see the hype of like different flavours every week, but Alice, did you have any thoughts to share? Yeah, it was good. I'm not like, I'm not blown away by it. I'm not like, oh, you did go nice. for like the most classic cookie. Yeah. I think their thing is more like that they do different flavours every week. Yeah, I'm not fussed about that. Like, Alice just wants chocolate. Yeah. Obviously I had to take a trip to the Times Square Disney store. They had all the Halloween merch as well as a bunch of the New York City exclusives which were really cool to see. A lot of cute ear headbands as well. Then you go upstairs, they have these tangled lanterns decorating these escalators which was so cute. And the main event was the Christmas merch. Didn't get anything this time but I will be back in December. Headed for a quick slice of pizza at Carnegie's, Alice's favourite and this did not disappoint. Aubergine on top was perfection. And then we went to see The Notebook on Broadway. Review coming in a second. It was quite a tear fest. I asked Alice before if I would cry and she was like, maybe. I cried four times, but thankfully it was an early start, 7 p.m. and it was done by 9.20, so we could back at a hotel and get a decent night's sleep. I still woke up at 5.15. Luckily Alice got another two hours and I went out and had a coffee, brought acai bowls back, so if I seem tired, that's probably why. The Empire State is right outside our window and we're actually heading up, not that one, but top of the rock to see the Empire State from above. Oh, the fans just stopped. This is the view. 
October 11, the ice ring is out at Rockefeller. Oh my goodness, Christmas is coming, guys. <laughs> yeah, the, the building getting right taller and taller. Oh, we're the taller. Yeah. 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 We are here at Top of the Rock, and we learned some fantastic facts today. There was a bit of a pre-presentation before we came up. Firstly, the construction workers brought the first Christmas tree to Top of the Rock. <laughs> Love that fact. Decorated their families. families. 75,000 workers were employed to help build. And it's called Radio City because all of the radio programs were broadcast out of this building. Beautiful clear day. Alice, no, I think it's time. Add to your snow globe collection. Yeah, no, but there's it's always time to add. No, it's one This one is a very, taxi. I'm very strict with my side. I feel like you can make an exception. Taxi with snow globe on top. That is too big as well. No, that's oh epic. God, there's a mini one. The mini one has entered the chat. That's quite cute. No, I can't. <laughs> it's kind of iconic though. You always remember the time that you held down a taxi. I held down a taxi once. once. No, it was well, actually a few times. Okay, well, there. even better. Excuse to commemorate. It's too much. It, it's too much. It's too much. <laughs> this one. Yeah, that but I feel like some of you, some of you live for a whole year. I think can be an exception. And also, this is for this trip. We're not here at Christmas time. For the Christmas trip. That, that's gotta be a joke. I don't know how you've missed this on TikTok. What? Yeah, people are paying the jelly cat to be sizzled on the fake grill. Stop. Yep, it's being wrapped. Stop. Hot to go. There's the pizza slices that people get. Nah, that's not You know what? They absolutely print money. I respect it from jelly cat's part, yeah. So, this is lunch from Ray's Original Pizza. Um, what time is it, Alice? 11.30. 11.30, that's irrelevant. We're, We're on a holiday. We're hungry. Early lunch to make room for cookies later. And I have a veggie slice. Alice has classic cheese. You know what? When you're hungry, you're hungry. That is, looks heavy. Mm. Heavy and up. In a big hole. Girl, go to his boyfriend. Can't read the cat. Wow. We have done some more shopping, and we have now come down to right at the bottom of what's this area called? Manhattan. Manhattan We're in Seaport. Seaport. Um, to Alice's favourite cookie place, apparently even better than Levain or Levant or whatever. Potentially. Called Funny Face Bakery. This is it. Super cute. They have loads of like personalised cookies as well. And then this is the cookie of the hour. We both got the chocolate chip one. She is that girl. Yeah. She is. Do you want to crack it open? Can I bite it or do we to like? Oh, I'll crack mine open in okay, a minute. Yeah. You can just try yours. I like to pull it open and see the cross section. It's so good. Oh my god, it has so many chocolate chips. Yeah. Um, and it was $6.53, so a bit more expensive than yesterday's ones, but it also seems like there's a lot more going on. The mark of a good cookie is how well it breaks. Ooh. Okay, look at that. That's looking strong. It's looking strong. That is a lot of chocolate chips, but the proof is in the tasting. The sun is getting mm. cold here. Very similar to the name. The chocolate chips here are milk chocolate ones. Yeah. The same ones are really dark. Mm -hmm. mm. Very like gooey. Probably something you don't know time. See, you see what I mean? So good. It is the first five out of five. Yes. I think it's also biased because I love a chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. I did try their pumpkin spice one the sample as well, and that was beautiful texture. Strong. Okay, I'm halfway through, and I think I'm just slightly missing the walnut from the chocolate chip walnut of Levain. It had a slightly different texture, but it's still an immaculate cookie. It's still like a 4.85. You don't like the walnuts, so that's irrelevant for you. Yeah. Alice also just crushed hers completely um, while I was faffing about, but she didn't come to play. Emily's giving one hint. Yeah, Alice is so she just stands there and rolls her eyes and goes, what now? <laughs> what other picture could we want? No, but I do it for you guys, for the concept.
So we have come to this pumpkin patch in Queens. It's called the Summer Club NYC. I'm not gonna like I expect it a little bit better. Um, Alice, what are your thoughts? Um, it's cute as well. And there's anything to do. No, it's like we've been given a two-hour session for 15 pounds each. We do get a pumpkin. I don't know what to do with the pumpkin, but um, it's it's very cute, very random. Like we can see the Chrysler building at a pumpkin patch. More activity than needed. I mean, it's gorgeous. Like the weather, stunning. As you can see, there's the city, and it's a pumpkin patch, which is wild. But I do feel like everyone's a bit like, hmm, <laughs> what do we do? Also, a basket of fries, fourteen dollars. So a cocktail, eight dollars. Oh, hot chocolate. Oh, fish. Yeah, cocktail eight. Uh, yeah, I saw pumpkin smashing on the TikTok. There's no pumpkins being smashed. Where so, was that? on the TikTok. Like inside. No, it was an outside activity. We have archery as well over there, but that's ten dollars a go. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll pick out our <laughs> pumpkin to take away because we paid for it. So I have tracked from the pumpkin farm in Queens to the Roosevelt Island tramway, across the tramway into Manhattan into get some dinner with this pumpkin and we are now in Central Park for our dinner. We got it from a place called Dig Salad Bowls. Alice went hard on the mac and cheese. She's a hungry bean. Mine is crispy tofu with broccoli and glazed carrots. Dinner with a view. Oh, and a view. Oh, and New York's here too. The mac and cheese looks good. Looks really good. Mm. That, well, it's one of the dinner. She's like, mac and cheese. And is it good? Does it deliver? It does, okay. And also are doing a partnership as well. <laughs> what? Just taking in the moment and Alice oh. looking at <laughs> all of the Wicked merch that she's gonna buy. Guys, this is a long list. You don't understand. This film is everything to me. Alice? I don't know you want to walk side. No, no, I am. It's just I can't reach your level. Just, um, Alice's Wicked. YouTube channel is actually gonna come back for her Wicked Hall. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube. channel. She's gonna become a wicked YouTuber. It's gonna be me the whole of November yeah. 22nd. Oh yeah. I am very excited for the Wicked movie. I just oh cannot be at Alice's level. Alice watches the trailer every day. <laughs> like I live with her and I'll just hear it at least once, probably twice. <laughs> just like the trailer just playing in her room while she's getting ready. I'm just like, oh, I'm there such it is again. a loser. There it is again. You're not a loser, you're passionate. You know what? I know what I like. It was Bridgerton. Now it's wicked. I mean, it's always been wicked. It's always Johnny Bailey. Always. <laughs> <laughs> that, yes. I think Linda Doll is kind of like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could see you getting the Fiero Doll more, but you know. <laughs> really? No, I think the Linda like. Where would you put it? it? On your handbag shelves. I can't see you at all, but yeah, that doesn't matter. <laughs> on the handbag shelves. I think it's allowed on our shelves. Next Let's just mount it. <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> Above the TV. Oh my god, on the Christmas tree. Isn't wicked at the that? top. She could be our fairy. She. <laughs> that would That's actually be quite iconic. Good morning everybody. Today we have a nice exciting adventure out of the city and also very Halloween vibes. We're going to Tarrytown and Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow which is from the famous Halloween story. I know it from the Headless Horseman from Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party and also Sleepy Hollow Waffles you can get in Magic Kingdom. But there's a lot more to it, I think, than that. So we're gonna get the train up there. There's a train from 125th Street that goes direct. So we'll hop on that. But first we're going to Alice's Favourite, are we going there Alice? Yeah. Your favourite acai bowl place that we went to on the first night. I feel like I can probably enjoy it this time because that time I was a bit, you know you're a bit dazed, like you're not even really tasting things. Yeah. Little adventure ahead, excited for something different and also for a coffee. Oh. I come to America and I become like a coffee addict, like I need it every day. That's the New York in you. Terrytown, the train up here was not pleasant. It was 30 minutes, it was very packed. Um, but this is the cutest little village, town, American vibe. Every window is decorated for Halloween. This one here, they're still waiting for their decorations. And there is Halloween window painting rules. It's giving free frosty. Because it's with the cranks. Association. Yeah, exactly. There's like scarecrows on all the lampposts that different kids have made. They had their names on them. We've seen a pie shop, which is giving waitress. And there was a will you marry me cherry pie. So cute. Everything's decorated. And I just can't imagine it not being decorated for Halloween. Big fan so far. So you go through Terrytown all the way up Main Street. 
and it is very Mean Street vibes. And then we get to Sleepy Hollow, which is obviously from the story. We are outside said pie shop, um, which is not open like a lot of the stuff here because it's not open to 12. Sorry? We run on the same morning clock. It's, I'll, get, I'll get along with the people in Tarry Town. It's also Saturday. Like, sorry. Why are you still closed? Um, and one thing, so they've got this musical, which looks very cute, but apparently there's a D23 event here today. Who'd have thought? Celebrating Sleepy Hollow. As if Carlo. you didn't know. <laughs> As if I didn't know. I mean, I would have got tickets otherwise. So there's people dressed up as like the Sanderson sisters that we've seen, having like different Disney outfits. I really feel like the timing has all lined up immaculately. If you continue up the main street of Tarrytown, you come to the village of Sleepy Hollow, which was just so charming. This classic sign was like something out of a movie. We saw loads of decorations and people's front porches. Went to the Horseman Bagel Shop, which was very good. Had myself a lovely everything bagel with cheddar cream cheese, which was very good. And this was honestly just the perfect day trip out of the city, especially at Halloween time. We finished our day up with a little sit by the river, soaking in the sunshine, and then we headed back to New York. So I love in a really dodgy setting. I've come back to New York for our next cookie, and we're going to Schmackeries. Um, and I'm a bit stressed because it was like a really stressful experience inside and they didn't have any of the cookies I actually wanted. So I've gone for like their cookie bliss one, but it looks quite sad and disappointing. I just, I don't know. I don't know what to think. But I was very stressed and I, well, I didn't know what I wanted. So let's hope it's okay. I feel like it's not going to be good. Do you like this stuff, really? The flavor is nice, but it's really dry. Really? It's hard. Just one The chocolate, chocolate, and more chocolate. And I said that's a bit of me. It's not great. Really? It tastes burnt. Do you want to buy mine? I think it's like a two out of five. Oh no, mine's really good. I'm really sad. It's three dollars. I know, but it's just not great. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? Because I feel like I was really flustered and I didn't choose the one I wanted because I was really overwhelmed. It's a cookie. <laughs> no, but like, it's, I just, it's just like, <laughs> it's just really disappointing. In the interest of honesty, and also I probably seem a little bit flustered in those clips, I ended up having a full on like panic attack on the side street of New York, which was obviously a little bit embarrassing and not the best experience. Um, I can't really explain why, but I thought I would just be upfront with you. So Alice suggested we go to Sardi's afterwards to kind of like turn the evening around, which was a very cool experience. Obviously seen it in Glee and saw Jonathan Groff's new poster. And then to really make sure we ended the day on a sweet note, went to Magnolia Bakery and tried their world famous banana pudding. And I will say I lived up to the hype. It was so creamy and delicious and yeah. The perfect remedy to a panic attack. Alice, what are we doing? Hi everyone, we're out for the Sunset Boulevard Theatre. Because we've kind of, anyone seen on TikTok, it's all over my few page, for at least quite a niche corner of TikTok. But basically, Tom Francis, the lead of Sunset Boulevard, the opening of Act 2, he does this walk where a camera is filming him and he walks outside the theatre and goes like around here and he's being filmed from the film being projected onto the big screen on the stage. But obviously, it's outside the theatre, so anyone can just come and watch it. So I've seen loads of videos of people just coming to see it, so we've just come to see it ourselves. Um, him singing Sunset Boulevard. So, this is the theatre. It's gonna come out. What a bit of a free theatre moment. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Good morning everybody, I've already had my lovely breakfast this morning, but we are at Pliables with Alice, Alice's favourite. I went to Juice Press, which is the closest thing i found to the blue bowl that I used to have in Hawaii. I say used to have, I was there for a week, but it was amazing. I think it's time for you to share your thoughts on Sunset Boulevard. So fun to see it in person. Anyway, I have watched so many of those TikToks, so I actually, actually post my videos on Sure, why not? Add to the masses. Um, and it was just so cool to see it. It's just so random. It's yeah. so silly. It's the way he's like so serious. It's so it really is. And he's like, there's some people that are like, oh, what the hell is he doing? Like, wonder what this is about. Just an average door. Why are we Nothing here? to see. No, nothing to see here. Um, no Taylor Swift. Take a look around. Do you, Do you see, see her anywhere? Yeah. News flash. Yeah. You're not gonna. And that's why I'm not going to people's real homes, friends. Just their old ones. So it's the big finale of the Cookie Crawl of New York. 
Levain, obviously. It wouldn't be a cookie crew oh. without Levain. <laughs> I've got four not to eat now. What? Couple to, a couple I to take home. Okay. They are heavy because each one is half a pound. So I got the oatmeal raisin, chopped chip walnut, two chip, and then also the full cookie, which is like cinnamon, nutmeg, molasses. Funny, honey, nut. I'm going to do the full one. Yeah, this is a box. Very cute. Alice got four of the two chocolate Not all for me, one for me and three yes. for friends. But she's also staying for another week so she can have more cookies. They are all four. I think that one's, yeah, oatmeal raisin. These are the chocolate chip and I think this is my fall cookie. Because it's a bit darker than the others because of the molasses. So we've broken it apart, looks absolutely stacked. The chocolate is like, it's not just chocolate chips, it's like full on chocolate in there. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm. Texture, perfect. Cozy feeling. Autumnal. It's not as melty as they normally are. Mm. I feel like for this one it works. Mm. Spectacular. Do you want to try it? I'm okay. How does it still fall from breakfast? For me, it's five out of five. Yay. Who knew? Who knew Levine would be the grand winner? Who I knew? mean, I did. So what's what the tier ranking? So Levine first. Funny face say? two. Funny face. That was my suggestion. I said we should go to funny face. Second is the first to lose. Oh. Uh, number three, okay, Abby. Number three, Chip City. Number four, Crumble. And number five, Schmackeries. But you love Schmackeries. Too soon. What's your ranking? The same? Or was Crumble um, last week? Well, year? I haven't had Levain yet. Um, you know, you've had so many of them. I know. Probably the same. Levain, Chip City. Um, Crumble was last. Wait, what? Funny face. You said Levain, Sorry, Chip City. Sorry, I meant, I meant Funny Face. Levain, Funny Face, Chip. Chip City. Chip City. Yeah, Chip City was good. Chip City. Schmackeries. Yeah. Also, this one was 5.75. The special, it's 5.25 for the normal ones. Spectacular! Give me 14 more. We did it. We conquered. We did world. it, Joe. You're gonna be the next president of the United States. We can hope. I had it's really blonde. <laughs> it does. I love it. She, nice the, the guy in the street yesterday said, hello, Miss Legally Blonde. So he said, okay, Legally Blonde. And then today I got, you look like a Barbie doll. Hi, Barbie. So I bet, so guy hi, was Barbie. Of the street. But, you know, it could be Alice's really, birth. It's really the touch I want to attract. Okay, so I've now come to the Museum of Broadway. Alice has been here before when she lived here. So it's just me to have a little wander around, probably a couple hours. Alice has gone to watch a football game at a bar. Who is she? Um, so let's go inside. Before I go to a show when I live here, on 41st, I think it is. Favourite thing that we saw was all the Central Park like colours changing in the autumn. Yeah. And then favourite thing that we did for me was to go to Terrytown and Sleepy Hollow and like it's just a very different experience, especially at Halloween. And the favourite thing I ate, I think probably the chip um the uh Funny face cookie. Funny face cookie, yeah. That was really good. Favourite thing I saw, um, the view at the top of the rock. Yeah. That was amazing. And then favourite thing we did, just like wandering around Central Park. Yeah. It's always a good time. That's the end of the trip. <laughs> Are you going to clean the vlog now? I think so. I'm going to do anything else. I'm just going to the airport. Thanks for following along everyone. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the cookie contest. Subscribe for more fun and magic to come and I'll see you in the next one. That's great. Bye! Bye. Thank <laughs> you.